now we get ready for the welterweights. Two veteran fighters getting ready to get down to business. The secret weapon ready to be unwrapped again. Johnny Lyles, freestyle fighter. I pretty much lived in the gym for the past eight weeks ever since I figured out, you know, that I was going to be on the show. Um, quit my job, took some time off, and um, I've just been doing this stuff, you know, six hours a day, six days a week. I know I've definitely got the tools to deal with what he's going to be bringing to the table, and I think I know what to expect. Making his way to the blue corner, Donnie Lyle. Look at Donnie Lyle, 11 and 5, nine wins by way of submission. He is fighting well lately, he has won four of his last six fights. This from a guy who was in his mid-20s when he got into MMA, he saw it on TV. So I'm a pretty good athlete, I think I'll start training, he's done okay. Yeah, he's he obviously got a good submission game with all the submissions, submission wins on his record. And uh, that's been Pete Spratt's Achilles heel, so he's well matched against Pete Spratt here. And the key in that, he had a good wrestling background when he really got into MMA. Yeah, and that, that's crucial because if you can't put the fight on the ground, you're not going to get the submissions. So, you know, obviously he's been able to put the fight on the ground when he wants to and has developed that submission game well enough to take advantage of it. He doesn't stay in action too long. 13 of his 16 career fights have ended in the first round. One way or the other. Yeah, well, Pete, Pete Spratt, as I said, his Achilles heel is uh, is getting taken down and submitted. So this could be another one that goes quick. As Lyles gets ready to step into the cage, and with all the experience Pete Spratt has, you figure you can blindfold him and he can still find his way to the cage. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Pete Spratt has a ton of experience in the cage. Um, he's got some some big wins in his past. He beat Robbie Lawler, um, but uh, this is a different time. We know about the secret weapon, but he's been a little bit of a skid lately. Can he bounce back tonight? Pete Spratt and my fighting style is Muay Thai. This fight for my career is, uh, I guess it's kind of pivotal for me uh, to get back on the winning streak. I've won uh, three of my last five fights, and uh, you know, I lost to uh, John Alessio in my last fight. So it's just uh, an opportunity for me to get back in there and get back on the winning streak. I see it playing out with my hand being raised at the end and uh, me knocking him out. I mean, that's the only thing I look for. So I'm going to try to finish him emphatically. Way to the red corner, Pete, the secret weapon, Spratt. And emerging <laughs> from the fog, if you will, is Pete Spratt. Well, they give Pete a little extra fog on this entrance. Uh, you name him, and he's fought him, it appears. Absolutely. If you look at you know if you look at fighter strategies, this is a pretty classical one. You know Pete Spratt, the striker, is going to want to keep this fight on the feet, where Lyles is going to want to get it to the ground. Um, you know that favors Lyles in that uh, you know Spratt doesn't have the wrestling background to keep it where he wants it. But we'll see what he's done to prepare for that. You saw that he lost five of his last eight, and Matt, as you were talking about, five of those eight losses, all the losses came by way of submission. That's right. That's right. So. That's why I say even though Pete Spratt is the more well-known guy and he's got the bigger record, um, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's got the advantage in this fight, that he can keep the fight where he wants it on the feet. We'll see if this is emotional as well tonight for Pete, who talked about he needs to get a win. He knows that. But he also told us earlier that his father, who he hasn't seen in 12 years, lives in the Denver area and is supposed to be here tonight to watch him fight. Yeah, that's that's got to put pressure on him. Um, you know, sometimes fighting for your hometown or, you know, seeing your father, or having your father at the fight when you haven't seen him in 12 years isn't always the best thing. You think it'll motivate you, but sometimes it just puts extra pressure on you. 
So it's Pete Spratt and Donnie Lyles. This should be interesting, a contrast of styles. Let's get the official announcement to get this underway. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, the fighter in the blue corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in tonight at 171 pounds. Representing FTW Mixed Martial Arts and fighting out of Denver, Colorado, please welcome Donnie Lyles. And his opponent in the red corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in tonight at 171 pounds. Representing Team Sichitong and fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, please welcome Pete the Secret Weapon Spratt. Fighters up. Okay, gentlemen, we discussed the rules at the rules meeting. I expect you to fight clean and fight fair. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. I expect you to protect yourself at all times. Any questions out of the red corner? Questions out of the blue corner? Touch gloves, gentlemen. Come out fighting. What an entertaining night it's been here tonight. Another great card by Strike Force, as we've come to expect. And now moving along, this is one that I think a lot of people have anticipated. Will Lyles get it to the ground? Will Spratt be able to keep it standing up and up? That question will be answered very soon. They touch, they're ready, here it goes. Last time we saw Spratt here on HDNet, he was losing a controversial fight to Ryan Ford up in Edmonton. Spratt looks good, his movement looks good right now. Lyles is a little choppy, Spratt looks pretty smooth. Lyles wants to stand and, and doesn't force his takedown. He could get into trouble here. It would be almost a road oh. if he stays up any longer. Spratt. <laughs> Lyles should have capitalized on that and charged him while he was down. <laughs> Lyles appreciated the athleticism <laughs> as well as a touch and resume. <laughs> Good sportsmanship goes only so far when it actually starts, doesn't it? Yeah. It's actually not against the rules to attack your opponent when they're down, so <laughs> he should have taken advantage of that. Spread, oh, good, good double right, good hand. right hand. The spread came out to my gym and trained with Maurice Smith for a while. It was a, quite a few years ago, but um, and he was a good striker, and uh, he's, right now he's able to put his skills to the test. He's able to uh, put this fight where he wants it. Uh, when is the last time you saw him double up with that right as crisply as he just did? That's the old Pete Sprint. Exactly, exactly. It's been a while since that's happened, and Lyles isn't doing anything to change it right now. Let your hands go! Lyles is watching for Pete. He's, he's watching for Pete to strike, and so Pete's able to throw a little fake to get him off and then come in with a second strike. Yeah, you almost know the way Lyles is holding his hands. It's almost as if he's ready to catch yeah. rather than deliver a Yeah, he, he wants to not get hit and force the clinch. Timeout called the inadvertent, infamous, always making them groan no matter where they are. <laughs> Low blow. Yep. Well, let's see if Lyles can get his head together here and, and put together a better game plan. Now. This is not the fight we expected so far from Lyles, as we mentioned. 13 of his 16 career fights end in the first round. I mean, he goes yeah. right at it, good or bad. He's usually charging in, shooting in, trying for a takedown. Yeah, and, and having a wrestling background, he should know, you know that, that he needs to get this fight to the ground and that he has the tools to do it, but he hasn't even tried yet. Spratt, meanwhile, has landed on seven of his 13 strikes thrown. That from our great crew at CompuStrike, Aaron, or Eric, is with us tonight. And, of course, the undefeated Ryan LaFlair. We cannot wait to see him get back in action after his successful debut in Atlantic City about a month and a half ago. Has he told you about that win, Eric? Yeah, Eric's heard all about it. We all have it. Well deserved, Ryan. Meanwhile, you know, I mean, what else can he say about Donnie Lyles? He's hoping he's okay. He looks like he's okay. Yeah, he's ready to get back to it. He had five minutes if he needed it. I don't think he went that long, he's and a, fight resumes. He's got a big mouse on that right eye there above the eye, which could continue to swell. 
that would be trouble that would uh, affect his vision. Scratches with the overhand. Striking very crisp. And Lyles is not striking very crisp. That was almost kind of a, I'm kind of trying to hug you more than give you some body shots. Yeah, I, I'm you know, unfathomed by this game plan that Lyles has here, staying on his feet, not taking advantage of his wrestling background, and striking with a better striker. Well, so far, this is the kind of fight that Pete Spratt would want. Again, try to double up on the right and misses there, reaching out a little bit. If Spratt gets too comfortable, oh, nice kick. If Spratt gets too comfortable, he could, he could end, up, end up getting taken down. When he was throwing the fakes and then following up with the shots, he was doing really well. He needs to stick with that. There's the fake. And a try for the double right. He switched stance while he was doing it, too. It looked like he wanted to set up his left middle kick. You know, one of the things that... Uh, oh, 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 Lyles okay, stopped it. Lyles catches it. Lyles made no attempt to keep him on the ground, though he held on and Spratt got back to his feet. Lyles should have tried to force Spratt's weight onto his hands and went to his back. Lyles as much looked like a smack as it was a punch He's there, just... and now Spratt <laughs> comes back. Now, see again, here's one of those situations where Lyles is really covering up when the punches are coming in. And it looked like Spratt was going to throw a kick to the body previously. And uh, now is the time that he can do that. And he's, he's covering very high there. He puts his hands way high like that. All Spratt needs to do is throw a couple light punches to set up his kicks. That liver kick is wide open. That's what we did uh, with Rich Franklin. In his, uh, in his last UFC fight. He was able to score a liver kick knockout. I know Boss Root would be happy if he saw one of those here. Our buddy Boss is watching in Miami tonight. He's screaming, go for the liver. Yep. <laughs> well, Spratt's doing well here, too. You know, against the fence, he turned it around. He's controlling the position on the fence, even. This doesn't look good for Lyles. 30 seconds to go in round one. Could it be that for only the fourth time in his career, Donnie Lyles will go into the second round? It's a very distinct possibility here. Now, one of the X factors here. Uh, he was not able to get that takedown. That's not a good sign for Lyles. His wrestling background may, may not be as good as we think. Well, as you mentioned, this is not the Lyles that we've seen fight before from the International Fight League to many other organizations. And I, you know, I think we have to give credit to Spratt, too. And Spratt, because yeah. he's the one that's stopping the takedowns, and he's doing a great job here. He looked very kind of, I don't know, that was about as much of a push, wasn't it, as a punch? Yeah. Good slipping there. A lot of punches missed. Round two underway. Pete Spratt, who looks about as fresh as we've seen him, as Lyles comes in, throws a couple of punches, his best one so far. And he tried to follow up with a takedown attempt, but he's, it looks like he's just really afraid of getting hit. Oh, he jumped guard here. Uh, that may be a good strategy. We'll see what he can do from the bottom here. But one of the problems is he's up against the cage while he's in guard here. Oh, he's wrapping the head down. Doesn't have a real good position on the head, though. Well, and for Spratt, for his victory, Spratt's got they're, his head out. They're almost even. He only has two more wins by way of knockout than watch he does the by arm. way of submission. And watch the arm here where the leg's coming up. He could get caught in a triangle if he lets that arm slide back further. But good job by Spratt on coming to his feet. Well, Spratt is no stranger to being on the ground. No, no. It's right back up, and Lyles once again will try to carry the tempo a little bit more. Again, a knee. Well, Lyles is picking up the pace a little bit now. Getting off first here and not being so wild. Right by Spratt. Spratt's loading up on the shots here, which is not necessarily in his favor. He was doing better when he was staying crisp, throwing fakes, and following him up. Loading up on those shots may tire him out. He does look like he's getting a little tired. 
he looked great at the end of the first round. He did, but the, just, just loading up on those shots there, being at the altitude. He took a knee right there when he pulled his head out of that guillotine attempt. Now there's a Russian arm, Russian arm attempt there by Lyles. Spratt's starting to look tired here. He's flat-footed, walking, his footwork's gone. Now's the time for Lyles to, to throw a fake to the head and then take him down. It almost appears as if Spratt is thinking things out rather than reacting. Yeah, Lyles should really try to push right now when, when uh, Spratt's tired like this. There goes Spratt loading up again. What he needs to do is just fake that jab, set the, the short, crisp punches up, and try to recover a little bit of win. Again, loading up. That overhand right is missing. Yeah. Not Wild uppercut by Spratt. It's followed with a good right hand attempt and a, and a left middle kick attempt, but nothing, nothing landed cleanly. Kind of gone from his Muay Thai boxing skills. To good looking, uppercut. Oh, that was good. That was his best exchange this round. He's beginning to look a little he, bit like Oh, he took one on the chin there. Took one on the chin. Now he's... He's coming forward. Had that look in his eyes like he wanted to get it back right now. Yeah, it looked like Lyles got his attention there because Spratt was beginning to look more like a bouncer than a boxer. Right. <laughs> you know, just swinging wild. Yeah, and that, that won't play in his favor. If he's getting tired when he's when he's throwing hard, then coming wild like that he pushes not going to be good for him. Lyles gingerly on his feet right so now. Now he's Spratt. throwing the fakes. He's going fake, high, low, coming back upstairs. There's the good fakes. Coming with some knees. Looks like he got a little second wind here. Pummeling side, pummeling inside here as Lyles taking the body clench position away, turning him through the cage. Lyles appears trying to load up with one of those knees. Yeah, I think he should be looking for the takedown here, but that wasn't a very good attempt at it. Interesting, no takedowns oh. by Lyles in this round either. There's Spratt again with the kick. Allows with his hands open again, waiting for Spratt to come in. That's when he's in trouble. He's got those hands open, waiting. If Spratt throws that fake, he'll react to it, and then he'll get hit with the second or third punch in a combination. Spratt trying to go to the body. As this round has progressed, he has kind of gotten back into his game plan. Yeah, it looked like he, he caught a second win there. So Spratt oh, going good body, nice shot. body shot. Looks like Spratt hurt him a little bit with that body shot. The most effective body shot so far now rushing in. Oh, there it is. He finally gets a takedown. Now he's passing guard. He's got the underhook on the far side. He, he's passed a half guard. He's got 22 seconds left. He needs to do something here it's substantial. Miles. He can slide through there quickly. There he goes. He's sliding through. Slide through quickly and oh, go for something that's going to end the fight. Now go, go, armbar, armbar. Oh, it looked to go like he was going to go to the armbar. There's not going to be time. Yeah. He finally that's got it. his position. We go to round three. Yeah, he, he finally, he finally just pushed really hard for the takedown and got it. And when they hit the ground and he was on top, he was able to pass guard. Looked like he was going to hit an armbar here, but then Spratt turned all the way over and gave his back. And uh, Lyle's getting both hooks in here. He had a good position where he could have finished him from, but no time left to do it. Spratt landed 14 punches. Lyle's landed four punches. Kicks were even in that round, but Lyle's with the takedown and submission attempt. And here we go to the third and final round. Now, Lyle's has only won one other time by decision. Spratt has won only twice in his career by decision. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Obviously, Spratt won the first round. We don't know how the judges are going to judge the takedown in the final submission attempt there. But there we go. Good shot and the takedown. And Lyles again and now getting back into his game. Yeah, he pushed. When he got the takedown, he overcommitted a little bit, and Spratt turtled and turned quickly, which, which was allowed him to get back on his feet. Shoving the head down. Spratt just brings it right back up. Spratt's controlling the hand there in the clinch. Well, he let it go now. But now he, he gave away the underhook. 
the referee may separate them here if there's no action. I thought that was a surprising stat that between these two guys, they've only had three victories oh, by good. way of decision. He did a slide by there, pushed the arm down, and hit a nice takedown attack. Lyles gets it back for the second He gave time. away the underhook here, though. But Spratt's got the underhook from, from the far side there, which allows Spratt to turn in and try to get back to his feet. But uh, now he's countered that. He's, going, he's trying to get to mount. He's got his foot just caught in the legs there. He's got to free that foot. You now he has. There. Now Spratt's turning, which oh. is not good news for him here. He was in a choke attempt at the end of the second round, and this is not a good position. He's trying to secure the body triangle on him here, and he's almost got it. Spratt giving up back for the moment. Yeah, Spratt holding onto the hands there. Lyles needs to go ahead and forget the triangle on the body and just go to the choke. And he's, he's trying to get him. it in on Spratt now. Yeah. Working on the rear naked choke. Spratt trying to hold on here, but he can't. He it. It's over, and again, Spratt loses by submission. Donnie Lyles in the third round. Rare that he goes that long into a fight. It took a long time to finish off Pete Spratt. Here, here is that takedown. He had already slid by the arm, dumped him. He was already past the guard right there. He, he just needs to clear that knee to be in real good position. And there he clears the knee. And here's the choke. And is it going to be? Yes. Pete Spratt tapping out again. He has now lost. We have a winner at 1 minute and 59 seconds into the third round. Winner by choke from the blue corner, Donnie Lyle.